Hey guys, this is the new 5.0.1 untethered jailbreak for the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPad 1st gen, iPod Touch 4th G, and iPod Touch 3rd gen. Um, this was released earlier today by Pod2G, and it's really simple. With Red Snow, or if you're already on a tethered jailbreak on 5.0.1, you can just install a Cydia package. Please note that this is only for 5.0.1. If you unlock via Ultrasnow or GV, make sure you get to it via um, a custom IPSW. Otherwise, just restore normally via iTunes. Alright, to get started, I want to show you I, have, I am on 5.0.1. And this is an iPhone 4. Make sure you back up your iDevice to iCloud or iTunes in case anything goes wrong. And once you're ready to begin, download Red Snow for either Mac or Windows. Right here I have Windows. And if you're on Windows, make sure you run it as administrator. And hit jailbreak. And it will give you a set of instructions to get into DFU mode. So turn off your device with it plugged in. Hit next and follow the instructions. There you go. And this is where the magic happens. Okay, so it's successfully identified my iPhone and uh, the firmware it's on. So all you have to do is check install Cydia and hit next. Remember, if you're on a tethered jailbreak though, and you're just running this over to make an untethered jailbreak, just uncheck this and hit next and it'll untether your jailbreak. Okay, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so it's booting up. Okay. And it looks like we have Cydia. So as you can see, Cydia pops up. Uh, I am a user. Okay. So before as I was saying, if you are on a tether jailbreak, you can actually you don't have to uh, restore your device and run through everything. All you have to do is go through your Cydia and remember you still have to be on 5.0.1 jailbreak. And install Corona. the untether and this is just exactly the same as if um, you connected it to red snow and unchecked the install Cydia. Remember this is only for uh, tethered 5.0.1 jailbreak users no one else. Hit install and hit confirm. So there you go please consider donating to Pod2G because he's put a lot of months of work into this and I'll put the links to him in the description below.